Hello my very most beautiful Geminis. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your last week of June weekly reading. This is a general reading and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do a personals open and everything that you'll need to know will be in the description box below for you. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my very most beautiful Geminis, please may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Gemini's energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my loves, we are going to pull one of these for you and one for the person that you are dealing with and see what your guys' general overall energy is. I love you. And memories. Overwhelming is in between the both of you. So we're going to grab the tarot and see what's going on with this. It does kind of feel like there's somebody here that you could be missing with this I love you energy. We're feeling like you have some things that you want to say or wish that you could tell them. Yeah, the star card. So wish is a perfect word for that. Yeah, I do feel like there's somebody here that you, you know, you're hoping for a more positive outcome in a situation or some kind of turnaround. And the star card, you know, wanting to bring some kind of healing and balance back to a situation. Really wishing and hoping for a specific outcome. With the I love you card being here, I do feel like you could be really missing somebody. Like I said, I feel like there's this energy of, you know, having a lot that you wish you could say. The High Priestess. The Ten of Wands. And the Fool card. So I think some of you guys could be contemplating on reaching out to somebody here. Um, I feel like you guys are trying to trust your intuition when it comes to this. I feel like you guys, especially with the stars showing up here in the star card and it being right next to the high priestess, I feel like the stars are what guide us. You guys could be feeling um, like guided or pulled to reach out to somebody here. But with the high priestess being here, I do feel like there is an energy of like uncertainty, unknown surrounding it. And maybe it's because you don't know what's going on with them or maybe you don't know how they're going to respond or there could be some fears that are coming up with that. But the Ten of Wands here and the Full card. So it's almost like whatever you want to say to this person or being without this person is really weighing on you. It's becoming very difficult. What is that expression? Sometimes the silence can seem so loud. You know, it, it's like their lack of, you know, the lack of being able to communicate with them or their lack of their presence in your life is, is it's getting difficult. And the full card, I feel like you guys are wanting to just take a chance. Okay, just wanting to, to kind of go for it here. What are Gemini's intentions? The chariot. So yeah, wanting to have some, the chariot's all about having faith because um, he's not actually driving. In the traditional Rider Waite deck, there are sphinxes that are driving the chariot. And they represent mysteries in the universe. So he gets in and he has faith that it's going to take him to where he's meant to go. But even in, in, the, in the traditional deck with the sphinxes, they are pointing in separate directions. And even in this deck here, um, the horses are being kind of pulled in separate directions. And, and I kind of feel that here for you. I feel like there's a part of you that wants to move forward and wants to have faith that... It will work out the way that you want or that you'll get the response that you want. But I, there, I think it's the kind of the fears and the unknown that's kind of pulling you in another direction here. What actions will Gemini end up taking here? The Temperance. So, not a real big action card. It can be an energy of making peace. So you could reach out to kind of make peace, make amends. But it's also a card of patience. So some of you guys, I have a feeling, are going to be hanging out just kind of trying to be patient a little bit longer or wait it out a little bit longer. Let's go ahead and grab another deck and see what's going on with the person that you're dealing with. They have the energy of memories. 
so it is overwhelming. I do. I, like I said, with the Ten of Wands being here, I feel like being separated from this person is feeling a little bit overwhelming. You know, it is, it's becoming very difficult. And with this person having memories and then the overwhelming energy as well as kind of like a mutual energy, um, yeah, it does kind of feel like that they could be experiencing a very similar energy. They're really thinking about you as well. The Seven of Cups. So there's a little bit of confusion and uncertainty when it comes to what to do. Okay, what decision to make, what is true, what is not. Um, the Seven of Cups can be a card of illusions. So, you know, just like you have the High Priestess where there's an energy of uncertainty, unknowns, I feel like this person does have it as well. Now, the Seven of Cups can also be having, a, you know, a little bit emotionally overwhelming. And you do have the word overwhelming here. So I don't feel like that's really a coincidence. This person could be feeling that same kind of a torn energy that you are. The Five of Wands. So there could have been a lot of conflict or a lot of drama, a lot of fighting or arguing between the two of you. That could be one of the energies that's kind of pulling them. The King of Cups, but they do have a lot of love for you. The Nine of Pentacles. So I do feel like this person is torn um, because they do have a lot of love for you. But I do feel like there has been some conflict, some drama, some arguing, some fighting, whatever's going on between the two of you with that five of wands. So it's almost like they're being torn between what they think that they should be doing and what's best for them with that nine of pentacles, five of wands energy, but you know, not what their heart says. So it's like their head and their heart are not quite on the same page. Their heart wants what the heart wants, right? But their mind's like, is that really a good idea? We there's so much arguing, there's this conflict, there's that conflict. And you know what? The Ten of Wands can be that for you as well. There could have been a lot that you guys have had to been, like, a lot that you guys have been through together. A lot that you guys would still have to deal with in order to come back together. I think you're more, you're, like, more on board with ready to take the chance. Um, but you still do feel that kind of torn, pulled energy. And, and they are too. And I feel like it's because of whatever's happened between the two of you. This is somebody that you guys could have been through a lot with. What are this person's true intentions when it comes to Gemini? We have the Nine of Cups. So that's a wish card as well. Let's see what else flipped around. The Knight of Pentacles. So you guys both have an energy of kind of trying to be patient. That's how I want to word it. Even the Temperance card, it can be, you know, it's like they're, you're really wishing for this, but you're willing to kind of like give space and be patient. Um, and they're kind of wishing for this too, but they're kind of doing the same thing here with the Knight of Pentacles. They're, they're very torn. I feel like you're more ready to get back to trying to make things work. Um, and this person, I feel like they do want it. Like I said, their heart wants it, but their head is kind of stepping in like, is that really a good idea? Even the Knight of Pentacles is an energy of like really being thorough with something. So, but it's also seeing the potential and the work that needs to be done. The Knight of Wands. And they still do want this. I feel like there's a strong physical desire for you as well still. What action will this person be taking? The Six of Wands. And the Emperor. I want to get one more for that. The Temperance. <sighs> I do feel like this person's, I, I, with both of you having the Temperance and the World card here in the middle at the bottom now and the Wheel of Fortune, I do feel like you guys are going to be moving back towards each other and, and kind of starting up a new cycle. This person is moving to this energy where they do feel like under the right circumstances with the Emperor. That's what it feels like. The Emperor feels like circumstances and kind of like stipulations. This person feels like under the right circumstances under the right situation with, with this and with this and this that you guys can make this work so it's like if this happens and this happens and you do this and I do this we can make this work that's the kind of an energy that I'm feeling from them that they're stepping into because you guys are both being guided back towards one another so their head and heart are getting more into alignment um their heart does want this but you know I feel like you guys have been through a lot and it's understandable that you know that their head's not quite there yet but we're going to grab another deck we're going to take a look at what the biggest challenge is within the situation what you don't see coming and some advice for you so what is the biggest challenge in this situation for gemini please what is the biggest challenge within this situation for gemini some of you guys could be dealing with an aquarius because i keep wanting to say aquarius we have the wheel of fortune 
So it's shifting this energy, um, finding a way to get past the things that have happened and to kind of get into a new vibration between the two of you. Um, you know, because it's both of you needing to step into a new energy for you guys to come together and have a new energy. If you guys both stay in the same energy and come back together, you're going to have the same the same result. So, you know, it's, it's a shift that is needing to occur here within each of you so that the connection can have one itself. Uh, and, I, and I do kind of feel like that is a challenge, but I do feel like it's something that you guys are both willing to do. The sun card, because you... You guys want to be happy and you guys make each other happy. You guys just want to get back to that place. And so the challenge is trying to figure out how to do that. What doesn't Gemini see coming? The Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior, but he doesn't give up. And it, and it kind of does say, you know, not to give up that you are almost there. So I do feel like that this person is going to, you know, kind of change their mind and, and be ready to fight for this again. I feel like that is something that could be surprising you. What advice do we have? We have the justice. So both people trying to make things right, trying to be fair, trying to, um, you know, be honest with one another because the justice card can be speaking truths and truths coming out so both people coming forward with a level of honesty and vulnerability and both trying to make things right with one another bring balance back into the situation and fairness so that is kind of what i'm seeing for you guys if this resonates please let me know in the comments down below if it doesn't check out your other placements everything that you need to know whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals all of that is in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, go ahead and put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light until next time.